world. So, this is November, which means it is Epilepsy Awareness Month in the United States. To my previous videos, you would know that. But, today, I shall be talking about hormones and epilepsy. Okay? Glad we got that established. Okay, so to start, hormones are normal because they're in the human body. They're supposed to be there. It is absolutely great when they're balanced. That means the mood isn't all crazy and you don't want to punch the wall for no reason or cry for no reason. Something that happens when taking medications for epilepsy, a very common thing are mood swings. And particular uh, medications like Keppra or Levetiracetam, um, as some people would know it by the generic name, there is something called Keppra Rage. So for me, I have experienced that and I have um, basically gone crazy. I have yelled for, for things that, you know, thinking about them now, I had no reason to yell about. Um, basically, um, I had to be put on antidepressants to control the rage and also the depression that was coming with the medication because for some reason Keppra seems so far, as far as I know, to be the only medication that I don't have a reaction to. And um, yeah, it's it's pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, uh, there are other things that cause hormonal changes that can really mess up uh, your seizures and things like uh, for us women, especially women around my age, um, 24 by the way, um, birth control. There are certain things that happen that you may need to take birth control. Either you don't want to get pregnant or you know there um, you have irregular periods or you have constant you have so many ovarian cysts. There, there are a number of reasons. For me, there are ovarian cysts. And that is kind of like my big like, wow, I really need to take birth control. But the problem with um, birth control, for me personally, I don't know um, how it is for other patients, but um, the problem I have had when I, I had tried it for a week, I believe, when I was a teenager, and the problem I had was more mood swings and um, they, they were more violent. Um, like even, even the depression was, was uh, more severe. Um, but then again, that was before I started taking antidepressants. Um, the seizures were more violent and more severe and more uh, often than they usually are. Yeah, having more seizures, uh, not really um, a convincing factor for me. So uh, yeah, that's why I didn't continue taking it. And so things like uh, birth control or anything that can affect your hormones, um, it's, it's an iffy kind of thing for people with epilepsy. Uh, especially if their seizures are triggered by uh, any kind of hormonal imbalance like um, especially if they have depression you know mood can change so much um, it can just being even too happy can cause a seizure because your brain gets too excited or if you're really really sad then you have a seizure or just 
if you're really angry, you'll have a seizure. It's just extremes are, in my experience, not that great. Um, I mean, they're great at the time, like if you're really happy, but then, you know, having seizures kind of sucks. Um, one thing I have noticed um, is that um, when I have severe uh, changes in things like uh, even body temperature, I will have a seizure. And so that, that changes your hormones as well because your body is trying to uh, compensate for the temperature that's outside to either cool you down when you're overheating or to uh, heat you up when you're freezing, basically. So things like that will also cause a change in your hormones because it'll, it'll try to compensate, like I said. So it kind of sucks. Like, I mean, not kind of, it really does suck for people like me who have ovarian cysts and multiple of them because um, if you can't take birth control to uh, control them uh, or I guess to keep them at bay, whatever, whatever word choice you decide to use, then you have to uh, make sure that you get enough uh, healthy fats um, so you can get those good fatty acids that'll help you to control them as well. So things like avocado or even avocado oil so that it's more concentrated, coconut oil and stuff like that. Um, it helps, um, but you have to make sure that you constantly have it, that you have it every day. Otherwise, you're going to be constantly going to the hospital because you can't figure out if it's appendicitis or just another ovarian cyst that burst. Um, and trust me, the pain is very similar to each other, so if you're a guy, that's if you've ever had appendicitis and you're a guy, then you know how the pain is. Um, but it's just, I, for one thing, I don't know, for people who have epilepsy, I haven't encountered this before. So. What I'm curious about is people who have epilepsy or are transgender who have decided to um, go and uh, transition, I know that they have to take hormones, but I don't know if that causes anything, like I'm, I think it might, but I'm, I'm just not sure. Like if it if it causes any you know imbalance with the seizures, um, but you know that's that's an interesting thing to think about. Like, uh, it's, it just interests me. I'm I'm just curious about it. But basically, with hormones, especially when you're a teenager, you're and you have epilepsy, your hormones are gonna be out of whack all the time. And you're gonna have more seizures because, because your body's growing, your body's adjusting, and it's just something you're gonna have to deal with, unfortunately. And Honestly, I feel like this is kind of a video to my past self, my teenage self, to to kind of just understand that being a teenager and having all these seizures is normal because, you know, body's changing, whatever. Um, I just feel like people should understand that Things like that, especially with um, women who are having their period, and there's sometimes 
people out there who are like, oh, she's hormonal, she must be on her period. Things like that. <clears throat> Makes me want to punch them out. But, I mean, like, if you're on your period and you have epilepsy, you have every right to be hormonal because, honestly, you, even women who don't have epilepsy, you have every right to be hormonal. You have blood coming out of you. So, I don't know how this started talking about period, but basically, just try to eat as healthy as possible. If you avoid things like meat and dairy, especially dairy, um, I mean meat too because meat has, the way they, the way they feed the animals to make them grow really fast, they're feeding them hormones. And obviously cows are fed hormones as well in order um, to produce so much milk. So avoiding things like that, it helps greatly to keep your hormones kind of balanced. So I know for me, being vegan has greatly decreased my seizures, even though I still have a lot, um, but they're significantly less than I used to have. So I am very, very, very glad for veganism existing. <laughs> Uh, and also, uh, I'm allergic to dairy, so I, you know, allergies can cause seizures as well. Um, because, you know, if your body's reacting to an allergy, it's gonna change your hormones. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about that. Um, just that I'm glad that I am significantly better than I used to be uh, years ago because wow but at the same time you know it kind of makes me sad that I have to deal with things like ovarian cysts bursting constantly it, it's just not fair, you know, it, but at the same time, you know, it makes makes me stronger, makes me feel like I can pretty much handle anything. If, if I can deal with this pain on a regular basis, then I can pretty much handle anything. So, it's kind of empowering. But at the same time, it does suck because you know that you have to deal with this pain constantly. <sighs> okay, so this video is probably going on way too long. I love you guys. If you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. And let me know if you are transgender or know somebody who is transgender. Transgender. Jeez, my brain. Um, who... Uh, who wants to transition or is on the path to transitioning uh, and they have epilepsy let me know if the hormones uh, affect their seizures in any way because I'm honestly really really curious about that like that's that's just that's just my mind just wanting to know you know have more knowledge and just be aware of things um so thank you for watching um uh, make sure you check out my other channels my comedy channel and my vlog channel my comedy channel for more laughs on thursdays and my vlog channel to see what i'm up to every day love you guys bye